What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we finally bring you the LOD Mages build for Diablo 3 Season 27 for T16 and Rifts, the Nephilim Rifts. And I don't know, I don't know what it is guys. I've always had a soft spot for LOD Mages and just having Skeletal Mages just destroy and obliterate everything on the map. So let's get into it. Starting off with the weapons guys, you want the Scythe of the Cycle. Now here's the thing. There's no power that is in Season 27 that really benefits this build. I think originally a lot of people thought that the, um, the what is it, the Golem ability was really going to help this build, but it doesn't. In fact, it just doesn't work. And more importantly, you don't want to have the Golem power on here because it's going to conflict with your Devouring Aura. So, I don't recommend that. You can have either one of the other ones if you want. You can have the Death Nova one, which I have. Or you could have the one for the um, Rathma build. Either one is completely fine. But I put it on the Scythe of the Cycle. The power ability is irrelevant. But we want Scythe of the Cycle because we want additional damage while bone armor is active. Okay. On our offhand, we have lost time. Our cold skills reduce the movement of enemies. And in addition, our speed is increased by 9%. This build is very, very fast for T16, which is incredible. Now, going into the boots, of course, we got Stuart Grease for more move speed, which is awesome after using Blood Rush, which is great. Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan, which increases our resource generation because we need essence all the time and our damage reduction while we're moving, which is great. Gold Wrap, obviously, for uh, just infinite, being infinitely life or what? Infinite lives or just being infinite. You cannot die with our follower having Avarice Band, which is great. Then we got the Requiem was it Sarah plate devour restores an additional up to a hundred percent essence and life this is essential for the build we need this to help replenish our essence so we can recast our mages so this breastplate is key guys next we got leorx crown this is really great increase the effect of the socket in our helm which is awesome the reason that we're rocking the um diamond in here is for land of the dead frozen land because everything else isn't on cooldown that's the only thing that we really have on cooldown is land of the dead otherwise we're able to cast mages and bone armor pretty consistently and pretty fast so but the main thing here is for land of the dead then of course we got Razalus uh volation volition man i'm butchering these skeleton mage uh, gains the effect of death gift of death and singularity runes so your your skeletal mages is going to have three runes on it which makes it absolutely powerful we got tasker and theo for increased attack speed of our pets we got a really bad roll on this but the 50 percent would be nice and then reaper wraps which is great you can get these from beating methyl oil to get the, the plans and then you can craft them so health globes restore 26 percent or up to 30 percent of your primary resource which is our essence which is fantastic and then this effect cannot cannot occur more than once every two seconds so that is insane guys super powerful and then of course we have haunted visions for our simulacrum uh which is a big cast here this is going to help us uh have our maximum essence increase by 100 percent while one is active the reason we want that haunted visions makes it so they never die which is great the only time that they're going to die is if you die into our rings guys we have circle of nodules evol and then this is raises an additional skeleton every time you cast it and they last an additional two seconds now this is really good for the build guys our skeletal mages are going to last around 15 seconds total and i'll break that down in just a second and then christmas sentence for just um, more increased damage for control pairing effects which is great now our gems inside here guys every lod build you have to have lod these builds are really really hard to gear but you need lod then we have enforcer this does in fact help your pets your pets take 90 percent less damage which is going to be all your mages and then they increase the damage as well and then of course boon of the hoarder for just more speed and all that precious gold so that is the gear guys let's get into the kanaya's cube here we have messerschmitt reaver which is going to help with our cooldown of land of the dead and then bone armor this is great this really does help keep bone armor basically at permanent uptime and really helps with land of the dead uh the worst chain um arm guards which is great you just move even faster and then convention of elements for more damage now in the cube guys there's a lot of options here you can really change these up if you really want so there's a lot of options here you can change up the the arm guards to the 
St. Andrew's Gage. You could put Stuart Greaves on here and then swap it out. Or what you could do, because you're moving so fast, is you could do Illusionary Boots, which is great, just to move through things. I actually really like that. You could do Ice Climbers, which is cool for you know no mobility and freeze effects. And then on Convention of Elements, you could really swap this out too. You could do Obsidian Ring if you wanted to. Uh, you could do Squirt's Necklace, which is always super powerful. Uh, you could do Stone of Jordan. Um, it's totally up to you. I'm actually going to try Squirt's on this next run. But you have a lot of options there, guys. Um, into our skills, you got Simulacrum, Reservoir to increase maximum essence. You got Skeletal Mage, Life Support. Now let's go in here. Remember, you got the other two uh, um, runes. You have Singularity and then you have Gift of Death. So rising or casting a mage leaves a corpse behind when they die or expire. And then Singularity consumes all essence to summon a powerful minion, which makes them do insane amount of damage. So 3% for every point of essence that we have. So it makes our mages very, very powerful. Um, then we go in and we have Blood Rush Potency to get around the map and for some damage reduction, which is great. So some armor and then Devouring Aura uh, Devour to just gobble up all those uh, corpses to replenish our essence. Bone Armor Distillation, this is super huge. Um, helps um, stun enemies, gives us really good damage reduction, and then allows us to proc uh, Crispin Sentence, which is great. And then uh, an end all be all is Land of the Dead, Frozen Lands. All corpse skills can be used at will for 10 seconds. So, this is a great way to really power charge us at the start of a rift and then start plowing through with all our mages. Into our passives, we have Fuel of the Death, consuming, of course, increases our movement speed, stacks up to 10, uh, which is great. More movement speed. Dark Reaping, while using the Scythe, you gain 2% Essence and Life per kill. This also helps us not only replenish Essence, but stay alive. Then we have Overwhelming Essence to increase it again. Now, this is where the last one that um, you have some flexibility. I have Extended Fortitude because Skeletal Mage increases by 25%. So, what we have here is we have this increases it by 2% or 2 seconds. And then we have skeletal mages which start at eight so we they start at eight life support makes them last to 10 the ring makes them last to 12 and then we have 25 percent but that 25 percent is stacked on the eight seconds not from the additional rings so you have 25 percent on top of that which would be two so you go to 10 12 so you're at 14 total seconds that your um, skeletal mages will last before they go away which is just phenomenal all right so we got that but you do have some other options if you don't want to rock extended fortitude perfectly fine you could do final service for a free life you could do a uh, grisly tribute you're healed off of your life per hit uh, brutus power is also very good um, you could do life from death if you really want to to help spawn those health globes because that's going to get your essence back um, really really fast so you have a couple options there guys but that is going to do it for the passives in all the gear. Uh, we're rocking, um, uh, what is it, a diamond in the helm. And then we have topazes in the armor for just more uh, armor and damage. Okay, so that's the build, guys. Let's go ahead and rock a rift and kind of go through what exactly what we're going to do. So at the start of the rift, guys, we're going to pop um, Simulacrum. And then we're going to immediately pop our Land of the Dead to kind of get things going. Once we get to the first uh, mob, we're going to pop Bone Armor Distillation, and we're going to recast this every time we get it to just help make sure we keep maximum de um, defenses and keep these stacks at 10. And then we're going to put, uh, which will keep our Crafts and Crimson's stacked. We're just going to use, uh, what is it, uh, Blood Rush to just move around. And then we're just going to, every time our Essence is full, we're casting Skeletal Mage. This maximizes how much damage they do, okay? So let's get right into it, guys. Super easy. The bun is the, the bun. The build is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna get in here, pop land of the dead, hit that, boom, and you just let them do your work. Oh, one thing I should mention is wherever, whenever you sum, summon a skeletal mage, guys, wherever your mouse clicker is pointed, that's where they're gonna attack. That's where they're gonna attack first, which is just great. So make sure you're pointing those things at the elites. You want to kill those first, right? Freeze everything, kill it all, easy peasy. 
get rolling. See how our essence is basically full non-stop? And see how fast our build is? It's absolutely incredible how fast we are. And all you're gonna do is just run around and let the mages do all the work. All you gotta do is point. Use blood, uh, blood rush as often as you want. We're just getting around the map. And again, summon every single time our essence bar is full. Just keep our mages stacked up at maximum, guys. We want maximum mages non-stop, okay? And as long as you're replenishing everything, it doesn't hurt just to keep recasting them. Oh, we even missed a, uh, or almost did, I should say. Easy, get out of here. The mages just absolutely flex the whole lobby, okay? Flex the whole lobby. Now, I do want to say that, you know, with gold wrap, it really helps you to stay alive, but the build can be squishy if you don't have your mages rolling, so make sure you got those things popping off, okay? Protection shrine, sure. You guys are dead. So really, the only thing that you got to do, guys, is just kind of pick items up, roll around, pop desolation, right? Maybe pop, pop land of the dead on a big, big mob. But this build is super, super fast, and I think it's just so cool. I know it works really well in groups for LOD mages, or rats is what it's called in groups, which is awesome, but I've always really liked the build. The only thing with this build is it's just not like the strongest, but it is amazing for T16 and just doing rifts. And you're gonna see us just like absolutely destroy the Rift Guardian, boom. He didn't even stand a chance, guys. Not a chance. Pick everything up. We're going to go back to town with our final thoughts on the build. So, as you guys can see, the build is absolutely fantastic. You do have some other options. You could rock Witching Hour in the belt if you don't want to run Gold Wrap, which is completely fine. You can do the swaps, like I, uh, like I said, in the um, cube if you really wanted to. The weapon one, you could really... I guess you could swap out the Reaver for like Furnace for more damage against Elites. Um, you could do Echoing Fury, which would actually be really cool. So to forego the uh, cooldowns on your uh, these two abilities here, you Echoing Fury and just Slash. And it actually, I don't know if this would help your pets, but it would be worth a try. But you do have some other options there, guys. So that is going to be LOD Blood Mages. For Necromancer and T16 for Diablo 3, guys. I think it's a really fast build. If you're Necrom Necromancer main and you, you know you don't want to do Blood Nova or Rathma to kind of farm your T16 stuff, I definitely recommend LOD Mages. Super fun build, one of my favorites. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All the support has been amazing, fantastic. I really appreciate all the feedback that you guys give as well. So thank you again. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the LOD mages? Uh, do you guys like it for groups, solo, what? Let me know if you're running Necros this season. And as for me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.